work, a coworker was asking if I knew any place where I can get some or where she could get some sweet Italian sausage. Apparently all the grocery stores in the area were out of them and there's about three, four grocery stores and they're all out. Well, I told her, make it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make some Italian sausage. Okay. First things, of course, we need is pork. I've got pork here. And I'm, you know, not only am I going to make sweet, I think I'm going to make spicy too. So, these recipes are for a pound and a half of pork, which I have in here. If you've got methods to grind your own pork, go ahead, be my guest. So there are a few common ingredients, of course, salt and pepper, got some white wine, caraway seed, half a teaspoon, fennel seed, I got about a teaspoon of those, half a teaspoon of coriander. <clears throat> now for the spicy side, red chili flakes, half a teaspoon. I've got some paprika, uh, maybe a teaspoon in there, about a half a teaspoon of cayenne. That'll spice it up really nice. So the first thing we need to do is we need to grind up all these spices. I'm going to do that, then we're going to do some mixing. Okay, be right back. Okay, all those spices are ground up. Time to get them in with the pork. So what I did is I ground up the, uh, the red pepper flake a bit. So it's in there also. So that's going in there. Sweet side. Our ounce of white wine. The cayenne goes in the hot. And so does the paprika. And of course we need some salt and pepper. I'm gonna go about a teaspoon. And a few good grinds of black pepper. Now to mix them up, I'm gonna start with the, uh, the sweet first. So I don't get any peppers on here. Now for the hot. Now these have to rest for a little bit. To do that, I'm gonna throw them in a bag and then put them right in the refrigerator. So the resting will do two things. One, allow the flavors to melt back together or just get happy with each other. And two, well, that working it, just that working it has uh, kind of started to melt the fat. Even though my hands are pretty cold today, I woke up to a snowstorm. But we want that to all solidify before we start using it. Okay, let's make something with a sausage. This is actually my kid's favorite meal of all time. It is very simple and well, I call it comfort food. It's pretty good. We'll start off with an onion. So the onions have uh, gotten semi-translucent and they are uh, brown on the edges, which is kind of where we want. Let's start adding in the sausage. I'm going to use the spicy because I like the spicy.
And I'm also going to throw in oh, about a tablespoon of garlic. And we'll get this all nice and brown. Okay, it's nicely browned off. There's a little pink in there, but it's still going to cook some more. Time to assemble this dish. First things first, let's get the uh, pork, onion, garlic mixture in here. Just spread it out on the bottom. I've got penne. This has been cooked. Well, pretty much like a super al dente. I'm going to throw some marinara in. Oh, you probably noticed that I put some marinara on the bottom. That's just to help with sticking. Throw a little marinara in here. And before we do that, we'll mix this up. I've got some fresh mozzarella. I'm going to layer it out on top of the, the sausage. And then I'm going to put the rest of it in there. And we'll just mix this up. Now we'll put the penne over top of the uh, meat mixture. And of course, spread it out. Okay, now it's time to get cheesy with it. I've got some shredded mozzarella. I'm just going to spread it out here on top. This is going to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. Oh, 350 degrees, please. Okay, there we go. Favorite dish of my kids. They like it a lot. And it's so simple to make. Just a little bit of pasta, some tomato sauce, a lot of cheese, and some good sausage. So a little glass of red, a little comfort food, and I'm set for the evening. Just wait for the hockey game to come on. Like I said, this is my kid's favorite dish. Um, guess what? It's dedicated to them. Nick, Alex, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week.